hello folks uh, so this is the last and final video of uh, developing the code for home.html file so in the last video we uh, developed the code and we developed it until uh, form element new york okay so new york so in new york this particular section so only this we we did coding till this particular level okay new york level uh, elements so now what we need to do is just copy paste okay copy paste the values so here for let us say California for me I'm just changing the name of the elements and wherever it is required California okay so this is done mm -hmm. okay looks like I copy this to that wrong place because there is a closing div tag right so I copy paste it after div tag is closed right so here right now the third one is florida okay so let's change it for florida 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 okay and then we have r and d spend okay now we need to change the text here we need to say that enter the value for r and d spent right similarly we need to do it for administration So admin and admin admin again and then admin. okay and here we will say add span okay next we will do is market spend market spend and market spend so we have done coding till till this part marketing spend now we have to do is uh, submit so for submit button we have to do some coding as well and for that we'll do input class equals to btn btn primary so btn primary is for making the color of the button as blue okay you can check all this thing on bootstrap website right you can get all the documentation over there everything is present over there so submit button because it is submit button and the value will be submit okay 
and then save it okay now you can see so in let's go in our template so you 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 see that we are inside flask app flask app template template and then a home page so let's close this page and see and open this particular page here so let's click on it let's see what will happen perfect so you can see that our page is created now it, it is this is the front end which we have developed and it is now ready to take the values input values for providing those values as a input excuse me input to our multiple linear regression model and you can see these informational messages enter one if the state selected is yes so if you say that the state if you select the new york then it's, uh, select one or enter one otherwise zero okay and similarly for you can provide the values for these so you can see the message enter the value for admin or we can you know we could have included the message like enter the dollar amount for admin spend r and d spend so r and d spend okay so we haven't changed it here let's see enter the let let's change the message we'll enter the dollar amount for so it's a market spend so market spend okay save it and then refresh this page again so now you can see the messages changed enter the dollar amount for market spend in the next section uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, develop the code for our next web page which is predict.html right so right now it is blank totally blank so nothing will appear on this page and what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to uh, develop some code or include some code here so that the result will be displayed the final result or the predicted result of profit will be displayed on this page so that will be covered in the next video so thank you guys uh, thanks for watching um, hope you will enjoy the next videos as well thank you